West Ham United 1, Manchester United 0. For once, we have beaten a big six club. I, don't, I think that's our first win against one of the big six teams since the Chelsea game uh, last season when we beat them 3-2. I still have um, a dry cough, by the way. Uh, I didn't go to the game. Uh, we are on the lemon and honey and water, which tastes like nothing. But because it's warm, I have to drink it uh, for my throat. Uh, match reaction. Let's get into it. Thank you, David De Gea. Uh, you usually play absolutely out of your skin against us. But this time, you gave us a goal. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I feel like um, I feel I feel like you owe me one for saving Mark Noble's penalty. Um, I want to do. I don't need negative about watching the game at home. Is Jermaine Genius? Uh, Jermaine Genius. If you ever come across this video, which I doubt you will. Stop commentating. Please stop commentating. You're a biased prick. Uh, because every time it's a West Ham game, you're fucking biased. Uh, please just stick to the one show. Please don't host Match of the Day 2. Please stop being a pundit. Please stop being a commentator. You are fucking shit. Um, but, yeah. Every time he's on BT Sport or West Ham come up, it's, it's always a slight dig. Even in the William Hill interview with Specs and Vooj. Slide digs again. Just please, just fuck off. Um, Alright, let's get let's get into it. Well done to Lucas Paqueta, Declan Rice, Tilo Kera. Uh, well, just everyone. I'll say everyone today. But, the, and Mikel Antonio. Those four, specifically Kera Antonio... Uh, Rice and Paqueta, I thought, were the top four players. And... I didn't think we'd win today, I thought. We'd be a bit hopeless. You know what Rashford's like and Martial are like scoring against us. But we are safe now. Because the other teams have to win three games in a row. Like, three of the... But four teams that are competing. Uh, I think it's four teams. Because Southampton are not competing for me. So three of the four teams have to win three games in a row to actually overtake us. Uh, and that's not going to happen. And uh, we can even stop that from happening when we face Leeds. Which I don't know if I'm going to go to because of the trains. And I don't think I could be bothered, uh, to, be, to be completely honest. Um... I just, I just see BA uh, with um, teams like Man United being cocky. And this is my revenge for the past three games that we faced Man United in that FA Cup. And the two last season. I know we faced them this season when we won, lost 1-0 narrowly. It's good to get that back. Um, that David De Gea save for the Mark Noble penalty. And uh, the fucking... Whole Lingard situation. The fucking... What, what was the game? Uh, we lost 1-0 right at the end. Uh, that I think it was... I don't know if it was Cavani or Rashford that scored. I think it was Rashford that scored right at the end when they were shit. And Ryan Fredericks pretty much gave them the goal. Um, yeah. Yeah, fuck you. Um, fuck Man United. Uh, also, some of their fans tried getting tickets to see Martial... For the Sevilla game. Well, we won the Sevilla game. Um, what I will say about Lucas Baguette today. I think he done really well. But there were some decisions that. He should have done better in. Like the 3v2. He should have done better in. I think. Uh, there was a time where he chipped it. Went away to Bowen. Like Bowen was coming short. Just. He always. The thing is. He always wants to. Pass forward. And I get it. But sometimes you need to do the basic. And just pass sideways and backwards at times. So you don't need to always. Create. And I get it. I do get it. Uh, we like a creative play. He's done well for us. And judging from his interviews, really settling in, settling into East London. 
but I don't uh, I don't think you need to put that much pressure on yourself to actually do so much. Uh, I think J Jermaine Genius gave Declan Rice man of the match because it's Declan Rice, and I think no pundit actually likes talking about uh, uh, any other players in our squad apart from Joe Cole and and Cole and Cole, and Cole uh, because they are West Ham pundits, but. Uh, Man United was shit. They were fucking shit. It's good to see Bruno Fernandes cry. Uh, probably the most overrated player in the whole Premier League. Um, the guy doesn't do fuck all unless it's uh, an odd through ball now and then. They try to keep the ball and he just randomly has a long shot for no reason. And I'm like, okay, but that's that's Bruno Fernandes for you. Um, with Man United, I don't know what's going on over there. I think they'll get top four still. I think we outplayed them. I think Kara was aggressive. I think Kara's main problem is defensive awareness behind him and the communication in between him and the centre back. I think that was spot on today. We're gonna miss Sumo for that first leg, by the way. And it's a bit of a risk with Ogbonna again and Antonio. Um, just having to play every game, but they're gonna have to play every game. Um, because we don't we we went in with the risk of having three centre backs, uh, three out and out centre backs, and I, I I don't blame them on a striker front. I don't think we needed Danny Ings, but it's good that we actually have Danny Ings because Skamaka is out, and uh, for the rest of the season, so he'll be back in June, or something like that. Uh, or maybe July, I don't know. Uh, but it is where it is. Uh, it's good that we beat a big six team because uh, we haven't seen that kind of West Ham in a while. I think that's one of our better performances of the season. I think that might be top three um, performances of the season. It was better than the Arsenal one because we didn't concede. And we won. We didn't concede two goals right at the start. Uh, we beat them. We beat uh, Man United and I like beating Man United because we have we don't often beat Man United. I don't think we've beaten Man United in four years, uh, nearly four years now since uh, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer and Pellegrini were managers. And look who's managers of both clubs now. It's been a long time. I know we beat them in the Carabao Cup, but we were both playing second teams. I wasn't. I didn't really care about that game because I didn't think we were going to take the cup seriously at the time. Um, but I'm very happy with beating Man United. I can't speak for long periods of time still because of my throat. Uh, hopefully, uh, when whenever this is whenever my throat is gone, I can do videos properly. I will still be doing the Premier League roundup, uh, but I'll be doing it on Tuesday because there's games tomorrow. But make sure to leave a like on the video, guys, and subscribe if you're new. Socials are in the description if you want to follow me on the email for the inquiries, and I'll see you guys later, man.